Hello everybody and welcome to uh, this session looking at the outcomes from the mastermind group concept that we um, set up and what um, we've learned from it and um, taking there and, and how we might be able to use that going forward. So I'm joined um, here tonight with Ian Metzen and Ian I'd want if you just wanted to introduce yourself. Hi Theresa, yeah. Um... Uh, yeah, quick introduction. I'm Ian Metzen based in uh, Essex and uh, mixed farm there with um, sheep and combinable crops. Um, yeah, uh, it's a family family business. I'm working in partnership with my parents. Um, and yeah, we've diversified into let buildings um, and yeah, just working, working away there really. Uh, that's good and um, thank you for, for joining us because you're one of the key parts of our mastermind group and this was something that um, we came across from working with Alan Brighton um, who's a, a business coach and um, a concept that's used quite a lot uh, in other industries in the US and other industries but I'd certainly never heard of it I don't know about you Ian but I'd never heard of the concept um, until mm. we kind of talked about it yeah no 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 i hadn't but yeah since since we've been doing it yeah you realize that it is quite common as you say in in other industries and things like that it's um it's a yeah, yeah powerful thing yes and the concept is to get a group of of individuals together normally kind of business leaders that are really looking to push their their business forward um, and so we decided to set this up for the the farming industry and to run a group um, in East Anglia based in East Anglia across different sectors and we had eight um, farmers in our group um, but with different kind of um, some farm managers um, some people with yeah different businesses um, pork poultry uh, different areas and then the concept is um, to run a session and we did it um, for six months, a uh, session every month talking um, about the, the kind of concepts around um, personal development and setting goals and target setting and ways to um, improve profits, increase revenues uh, around that and then also what we call the hot seat concept. Um, so uh, so, well, one of our group members taking what we call the hot seat and talking through an issue that's um, pertinent to them or something, a challenge to them or an area they'd like to improve in the business and then the rest of the group providing feedback on that. And so that was the kind of core concept. So uh, that's where we started and it'd just be really interesting to talk to you, Ian, about why you're interested in the group, you know, from the start and, and what you got out of it um, as we've gone through. So. Yeah, I don't know, having not heard of the concept from the beginning, what was it that attracted you to taking part um, in the group? Yeah, I got the information through from, from AHTB um, and I suppose it was just good timing really. I was at a bit of a crossroads or sort of going through family succession with the farm and I was really looking at, you know, what the best way forward. There's obviously a massive amount of changes going on in the farming industry at the moment and it's just trying to um to steer the best path really because i kind of yeah i've had some fairly clear goals which i don't think have changed massively through the mastermind thing but it's more about yeah i wanted to get get a better grasp on maybe how to achieve those quicker or you know exceed those goals really and it just the uh, yeah that just caught my attention really and are they mainly business kind of goals and you know in terms of, of turnover because there's some and there's personal kind of goals as well weren't they that you know you wanted to work towards yeah yes yeah i think a lot of i don't know i suppose i think a lot of my goals are uh, like business or farming related um because yeah i suppose i'm i don't know i'm generally pretty happy in my sort of personal life and i don't typical farmer really I don't really have any hobbies that aren't something farming related um, <clears throat> so um, yeah it was yeah business just to help me with those business side of things and um, and also yeah kind of work-life balance type stuff I suppose really but yeah I think I'm I think yeah so I don't think that's massively changed I think I'm getting a lot more useful work done really 
And it's, so it's more about setting your business up kind of and having the ambitions for, yeah. for the future and, and kind of doing that. Brilliant. So, um, so the group came together and, and one of the kind of key things that Alan and, you know, we've all learned along the way is is some of kind of the concepts um, around um, different kind of ideas, different motivations, different way of eating, um, of thinking about things. Um, funny things like eat the frog, um, kind of to, to do the thing that you really don't want to do first thing in the day so that, you know, that's done and then you kind of go on. Are there, are there particular things that have really resonated with you in terms of kind of the concepts that we've done as we've gone through the process? Yeah, I think yeah, eat, eat the frog is uh, it's a great one, um, and that yeah, that's really a. I'd really put that in the sort of time management category, and I think that's been uh, probably one of the biggest things I've taken away from the the sort of learning we've done with Alan. Really, is some yeah, you know, just that time is the most valuable resource that anyone's got available to them, and you can't. You know, you can only use your time once, you can't get it back. Um, and it's just about, I think I'm, you know, I've still got massive room for improvement, but I'm just, yeah, using my time so much better, like planning my days much more carefully and not getting dragged in so much to, to other people's problems, really, which is very easy to do. Mm. Um, <clears throat> um, and But you've got to kind of learn to say no to things and yeah prioritize the important stuff and mm. if you want to be doing the thousand pounds an hour jobs then um, you've got to say no to an awful lot of ten pound an hour jobs along the way really to, mm. to be able to focus on that so no, definitely and that's what was one of the concepts that Alan has isn't it there's ten pound an hour jobs hundred pound an hour jobs and thousand pound an hour jobs and kind of you know thinking about the things that you're doing and other kind of family or team members are doing and how that kind of works so yeah it's um there's definitely some of those that really stick with you aren't there um in terms yeah, yeah. of what about the kind of goal setting side of of that kind of thing and um there's a brilliant saying that's be hags isn't it big hairy audacious yeah. golf is that something that you've um picked up on or, or the time management one would be more important um, I think I've always been okay at, at, at setting goals and I've had some pretty clear goals and with going through like succession on the farm that sort of and also I've got a young family and those sort of things make you really think about you know where do you want to be mm. you know when I'm in this position you know hopefully handing stuff on to my kids um, 30 years down the line and you know what do we want to achieve in that time I'd say those goals have got bigger and maybe I want to achieve them quicker and maybe do some other stuff along the way instead of just focusing on my whole life being about achieving those specific goals yeah. um <clears throat> so yeah but yeah yeah so it definitely has helped yeah 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 but yeah I'm, yeah it, I think it's yeah the more, more for me anyway yes yeah, you know some some people in the group are maybe really great at managing the time but maybe didn't have that direction I sort of feel like I, I'm still pointing in a similar direction to what I was, but just um, got a much better idea how to, to get there, really. Find the process yeah. along the way. Yeah, and I think that's really interesting, isn't it? Everybody's taken something different away and got different kind of things out of it, um, you know, and and some of the concepts that we've learned about a time more with some people than others as well, aren't they? You know, there's... Um, I guess that's what coaching and you know business development is all about isn't it kind of ref the self-reflection and, and then moving forward um, with clear actions so yeah. how have you kind of taken some of those things that you've learned about and implemented them for your kind of business and your situation uh, yeah with time, time management and things and just being much more like pretty good now at, at sort of planning my week in advance and like looking through tomorrow's to-do list today and kind of updating it and that sort of thing which sounds quite minor but yeah is the cumulative effect of that and getting you know a bit more done each day and also much more willing to either ask people for help or you know get like with the sheep I've got someone who helps me um, part-time now which has been a massive um, yeah, massively helped actually. Just mm -hmm. 
not just to free up my time, but also to improve, get things done much more timely and, and do a much better job of, of things really. And yeah, it's a real eye opener actually that, yeah, you can actually get people to come in and they like doing some of the things you don't like doing and they do a better job of them as well than you can do yourself. It's, um, yeah, it's not all plain sailing, but yeah, it's um, it's great when stuff like that happens. And um, yeah, it's given me much more confidence to go up and, you know, pursue other things and not have to worry about what's going on at home all the time. No. And, you know, knowing what you've done, you I mean, you've set up a new business really, yeah. you know, in the last yeah year, haven't you? Kind of six months of doing Do you think that would have come about as quickly as it has possibly, you know, without that? Or do you think the kind of time management and those kind of things have helped? Um, yeah, across? honestly, I would say it's very doubtful whether it would have come about at all because um, I'm very good at, I love, you know, looking at business ideas and running through all the the numbers and practicalities of it all and I've probably got a sort of graveyard of, of potential business ideas in, in my phone nag section um, that I've never I've never taken the next step to actually do anything with them and I think even if I had gone ahead with this I probably you know um, yes yeah, so the business I'm doing is is um, contract um, uh, hedge, hedge service basically which is like either predominantly planting, laying, coppicing hedges and also getting involved with grant applications and aftercare of those jobs and doing them all to the grant specifications. Um, and yeah, massively, A, it's kind of road tested the idea with the other um, guys in the mastermind group and also, um, yeah, just got just great to get like feedback and say yeah I think this is a good idea that I would definitely do you know take that offer mm. so I think even if I had done it I would probably have done one or two jobs and you know done tried to be doing most of the work myself sort of thing mm. um, whereas yeah in reality we've, we're doing um, uh, 11 jobs this year um, a varying sizes um but yeah uh, and yeah obviously i haven't been able to physically do all that on my own um and yeah sort of building a team to to um yeah to yeah make sure we do the contracts and do them to the right spec and everything and mm -hmm. yeah it's been great and it yeah I, i'm not sure it would have happened at all without without doing the mastermind group and it's great to kind of have followed your process really kind of through it. I remember you saying once it was an idea in my in my wallet or something on a piece of paper and, and now it's a fully fledged business that you know you're employing staff and got a turnover and you know providing yeah. a, an important diversification and business opportunity alongside the arable and the farm business isn't it you know yeah. in an area that you really enjoyed an important area going forward. Do you think the success of that is is down to the kind of the concepts and things you've learned or do you think it's the kind of the, the group situation um you know and having that or do you think it's the having a regular kind of meeting and the kind of deadline to to do something? Yeah yeah I think it, it's both I think the doing kind of uh, you know a bit of personal development stuff with Alan at the start is is always great and it's good to look back through those notes and just get everyone kind of in the in the zone really and then to to do the hot seats um mm. yeah but yeah uh, I mean I think the first hot seat I did on the first or second session we had was um kind of use them as a bit of a focus group really just to see whether they you know what they thought of the idea, whether it was any good, how it could be improved and mm. um, that was yeah massively massively helpful and then we set uh, set targets at the end of the session to get done by the next session which um, uh, yeah I find I'm good with deadlines, deadlines massively helpful for me to work to rather than you know gives you something to um, to aim for and, and a sort of kick up the backside to, um, to get yeah to make sure we get it done before the next next meeting really um, and um, do you think the kind of 
you know, is there another forum that you think you would have been able to get that from? I think the mastermind concept is quite unique because of that kind of hot seat element, isn't it? And the, the yeah. coaching that kind of goes alongside it. I don't know of another forum that does that in quite the same way, really. Um, uh, no, I've never done, you know, never done anything like this. And I think it has made me realise that, yeah, we, you know, I have a few sort of friends who are farming who I would, you know, talk through various things with them in a similar kind of informal sort of way, but that would usually be one on one. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a really powerful thing to get eight people in the room who are all, I don't know, we're all quite different and got different businesses really. But in, anyway, in this instance, obviously we're all farming related, so obviously understand <clears throat> farming related uh, mm -hmm. challenges and things. Um, and yeah, it, it's, you actually get as much you obviously get a massive amount out of presenting your own uh, challenges to the group but you also get as much out of hearing of what everyone else's you know challenges are and uh, being able to input into those yeah. it's also even though they might not be um, they might not seem that relevant to your business mm -hmm. but it's just great to see what other people are doing and what's motivating them or you know what different you know i think a lot of the there's been some quite common themes on challenges people have got and things and you kind of realize that it's you know that's just one of the challenges of running a farming business is you know there's a lot of a lot of the things will be about um relationships with people really whether that's employees or family members and that sort of thing mm -hmm. and it's sort of oh okay it's not you know, it's not just me that that finds no. this challenging no, um, definitely. There's been quite a lot of our discussion with it. Yeah. About staff and, you know, um, yeah, different kind of building businesses and, you know, um, making opportunities, setting kind of far reaching enough goals in an industry that's changing. It's been quite interesting, hasn't it? You know, everybody's brought completely different topics for their hot seat each time. And um, what about some of the wider resources um, that we've used? So um, we've read a book between each of our kind of sessions alongside, you know, to, to kind of have background to some of these learnings and concepts. Is that something that you've enjoyed or, you know? Yeah, massive, um, massively. Um, and yeah, I've never, certainly never finished a sort of personal development book in my life before um, but I've, uh, it's really sort of set me off on a path now and I uh, really love uh, audiobooks um, and just um, yeah as well as doing the, the, the ones we've been set um, between sessions um, I've also done loads to sort of knock on from some of the books we've, we've read <clears throat> you sort of you know you obviously get suggested other things that are similar um, and uh, yeah I've got loads and I love having when I'm doing something that doesn't need too much um, mm. brain power involved um, you know put, put an audiobook on as well um, it's just great and yeah you can get so much out of them there's so much information out there and um, you can put it on you know if you're in a tractor or you're out um, you know working out on your own or something put headphones on and um it's been fantastic really but yeah how, someone, have you, how have you found you've kind of you know have you got your own way of taking the information you've learned and you know making a notebook with the kind of the top ideas or how do you do you just kind of have those concepts in your head and kind of come back to them or do you have a way of, of doing that out of interest um occasionally if there's something sort of really key or specific i might you know jot it down as a note um my phone but yeah i'm not really yeah sometimes i think oh i should write this down and maybe don't do it but i think yeah it's just um such a great way to get a double use of your time that um yeah you know you can always sometimes i go back and listen to stuff again yeah um if i've really enjoyed it just just yeah. um you know revisit it yeah um and get it sort of embedded in your brain really yeah. But yeah, I think, yeah, it's another thing really is not to get uh, sort of learn from the group really, not to get too hung up on, you must absorb every piece of information from this book. Mm -hmm. It's kind of, um, yeah. even if you really you sort of sometimes I stop myself and think, oh, I haven't really been listening for the last 10 minutes or whatever, because I've been, you know, my mind's gone on something else. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, even 
by doing that, you know, a lot of it will go into your subconscious. Mm. Definitely. Yeah. Do you think it's been a cumulative thing as well? Do you think the more you learn, the more you can kind of practice an action? Or do you think it will be there's certain things that do make a difference as opposed to others? I don't know. Um, yeah, I think it's been cumulative. And yeah, in a way, in some of the books, there's quite a lot of similar concepts in them. But I think that's great as a way to kind of recap on mm. stuff or look a slightly different mm. angle on it. And yeah, if you look at people who've been really successful in things like business or and that then you know they do spend an awful lot of time reading or or listening to books and and mm -hmm. absorbing information and Easy. yeah it's much that much better sense. use of your time than than you know putting putting the radio on mm -hmm. um, i think everyone's fairly sick of listening to the news at the moment so um, yeah. do something that works for you yeah, right, yeah. or you say uh, yeah almost never have the the radio on if I'm driving or whatever now I've got mm. either podcasts or uh, audible on mm. yeah good on you yeah, which is yeah. great so what what do you see as your kind of next steps for your business or you know on yeah. this on this level do you yeah. are there things that you want to kind of go and achieve or you know to take some of these the things you've learned and take them further or yeah absolutely yeah um so the hedge the hedge side of things made me to do like more than twice as much um, in terms of contracts as I'm doing this year and we have just opened a grant scheme again mm -hmm. so just um uh yeah we'll be busy getting customers for that over the next couple of months yeah we've got some great ideas and help on how to to do a better job of that um and with the rest of the business yeah we're kind of pretty much sorted with um succession stuff now which is brilliant looking forward to to kind of having that certainty of knowing what's going on with the business and um yeah just yeah i've got some some ideas of what i want to do with mm. that as well really yeah 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 I mean, yeah i think there's i think although it is a mass time a massive change in farming it's going to also be a time of opportunity and there's a lot of really exciting stuff going on farming at the moment i think i think there's more of a buzz around stuff than there has been for mm. my lifetime really i think at the moment um which is which is great and just yeah really excited to to get stuck into some of it really and do you think the kind of concepts of time management and things that you've really taken away you'll kind of keep revisiting i mean the group are still meeting anyway as a group of kind of quarterly really at the moment aren't they but do you think those kind of the mastermind concept you'd continue and keep working on um yes definitely I, yeah um well hopefully we're going to carry on meeting as a group in some capacity um going forward um and if we weren't i think i'd, I'd definitely be looking at how i can you know get involved with another group or yeah. or set one up or something like that because mm. i just think yeah it's such a and i think everyone has found the same um mm -hmm to a degree that it's you know it's such a worthwhile use of your time to mm. to do that so yeah and i yeah i'm 100 percent sure that my time management will carry on being better um and yeah i just yeah want to carry on with this sort of personal development stuff and mm. and yeah yeah regardless of the group yeah definitely and that's thanks to doing it that it sort of set me on that path really mm. yeah Good trajectory. So yes, if, you, yeah. if you're thinking kind of um, just to kind of finish off, if you're if you're a farmer or an individual that's kind of thinking about developing their business and really pushing that going forward, have you got some top tips, you know, for other people um, with what you'd kind of suggest from what you've learned? Is there... Yeah, well, I think it's, um, I think as a stereotypical or general rule farmers are sort of fairly independent people which is fantastic to be able to stand on your own two feet and, and be independent um but it's all you know can almost go too far really with that and need to i think you can get massive amounts out of interacting you know 
talking to other people, running ideas past them, collaborating with them and stuff. And yeah, you can achieve much more by doing that. I definitely recommend, I don't know if the masterminds can be running again anytime soon, but I would definitely recommend that people want to, you know, move their business up a gear, then they should definitely, definitely um, apply for it. And, and do you think, you know, you mentioned the changes with BPS and things before, do you think you're in a, you know, that this is an important part of, of you and taking your business forward kind of over the next few years um, to kind of have, have taken that critical assessment, look at your business to kind of done some, your, yeah. your own professional development and like you say, take on the ideas. Do you think that's something that others could do and learn from? I, yeah. Yeah, I think yeah. so, yeah, I mean, yeah, um, yeah, and it's, it's kind of, yeah, get, you know, hopefully get, get people into a more positive mindset and, and, and if they want to stay in the industry, then, you know, all, like every other industry in the world, it, it is going to change, mm -hmm. um, and it's kind of seeing what the opportunities are in, in that, really, I mean, I'm, I'm excited about, uh, the changes that are coming <laughs> it'd be nice to know you know when we know clearly, more clearly what they're going to be um but um yeah and i think we've all you know i don't know what's going to happen with farming but i wonder if it's going to get a bit it's quite um homogenous at the moment really isn't it it's kind of you know if you're in the part of the world i'm in then you know you're growing wheat and some other stuff in between to fill the gaps and and that is what your farming business is really is the case across uh the vast majority of farms in the area which um i sort of hope there's going to be a bit more diversity in in the future and a bit more scope to do things slightly differently really mm. yeah absolutely i think there are opportunities aren't there and to have those and tools and things it's it's going to take us a long way going forward so brilliant well it's it's been great to kind of hear your story in and hear what you've got out of the mastermind group and i think yeah you've you've taken so much and taken your business you know a long way forward and taken the concept so thank you um for sharing that with us and yeah good luck for the next steps and we look forward to seeing some hedges and um, with ian metz and kind of name next to it and you know and the business developing as it goes forward thank you very great. much yeah, thank you very much. I enjoyed it. Thank you.